Hello and welcome to Battle Streams in Middle Earth and welcome to my hobby vlog number 15 I believe. Um, if you're new here to Battle Streams in Middle Earth I hope you're enjoying what we're doing. Uh, this is a channel where, called Battle Streams in Middle Earth where we attempt to get you to <laughs> clear your backlog. Uh, the, the joy of this channel uh, well, the, ma the main um, ethos of this channel is just to paint for the joy of it, to paint for the fun of it and to, to get clear some of those backlogs. So if you're not familiar with what we do, uh, every fortnight we do a uh, live stream where everyone gets to hang out together for about four or five hours, normally on a Friday night, and um, kind of catch up on all they've been doing and just paint some models for all around the same theme for the love of it. It's really good fun and um, you'll be able to find all the past episodes below. So if you're interested in that, do let us um, to come and join us on the next one. We'd love to see you there. Alongside all that, I kind of document my hobby journey um, in these hobby vlogs, and that's what I'm doing now. Um, I believe the last one would have been entitled um, The Road to Throne Skulls Part 1, and it was about getting my six Dale guys and my Wind Lance done. And, um, and it went really well. Um, inexplicably managed to get a whole lot of painting done and got them done and was really, really happy with the results. And if you go back and watch the start of that, at the start of what I presume is hobby vlog number 14, I think, um, I say that we've basically got two hurdles to get over before we have a chance of getting ready in time for Throne of Skulls. And so that was the first one, paint those, those guys. And then today's, this vlog is the second one. So completing the Dale guys doesn't mean we'll be ready for Throne Skulls. Completing this set of models doesn't mean we'll be ready for Throne Skulls. But not being able to do either of these things would mean that we weren't <laughs> going to be ready to um, do Throne Skulls. And so that's what we're um, that's what we're going to be doing this time. To give you some context, and hopefully you've seen the Dale guys, so you can start to make your kind of um, predictions about my plans for Throne Skulls. Um, we are currently, um, I want to say, three and a half weeks away. So in it's Tuesday, so in three and a half weeks' time, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be heading off to Throne of Skulls. Um, so there's an awful lot to do, and most of the awful lot to do is going to be in the next vlog, uh, which is going to be the real one that everyone kind of seems to enjoy. Where I'm freaked out, freezing, sobbing crying in a shed um, in the middle of winter. But for now, I've got to um, blitz out some more models. And those models are these bad boys. So here's the next clue. These are 12 Grim Hammers. And these guys are, I'm really excited about these because these are very, 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 very um, battle streamsy. Um, I painted my army of Thror army for issue two of SBG, which I think was like 2014 time. So about 2014, I painted I don't know. I've got. I think I've got twenty-four warriors done. So twenty. I converted Grim Hammers into some warriors of Erebor and um, painted up all the named heroes and all that, and got got them done for the bat rep in that. And I had those done, and I had these twelve more Grim Hammers for that army. It's never got around to them. So eight years ago, I painted most of this army at least. Um, and I think I think I started doing them in the year after the the year after Desolation of Smell possibly came out. I think was when I started painting those guys. So. What would that be? Is that early 2012? Must be early 2014. I think I would have been painting them. Um, and I got. I always had plans to do another 12 Grim Hammers. As you can see, they're already assembled and already primed. They've been like that in the case for years and years and years. But um, I just never got around to doing them until today. So they, these guys, are coming with me to throw in the skulls. So there you go. There's your next clue. I'm taking some Dale guys and I'm taking some Grim Hammers to throw in the skulls. Um, but of course I've got to get them done, and there's quite a lot. 12 Grim Hammers is quite a lot, but I have a very, very, very unusual um, set of circumstances in that I've actually got two days off. I, I very rarely have two days off to paint, but I've kind of worked that into my schedule and I've got two days off. And so my plan is, this is kind of like the Dale Day um, situation, I, my plan is to try and blitz these in two days in total. And one thing I've already done actually, if you notice, they're on, um, you see they're on slot bases. Um, these guys, if you look at how they're glued on, you see how their feet are glued onto that base? Um, these guys come on tabs, yeah, they're, they're the old school GW models, so they come on plastic tabs and they were glued into their bases, probably with poly cement. And the first thing I've done is I've already now cut them off those bases, I have to cut them off with clippers, cut the, um, the tabs away and glue them on, because these guys are eventually going to end up on generation shift bases. So I did all that, and it was terrifying trying to kind of cut those, you know, mod, you know, models off without breaking them. I only broke one foot, which I'm really, really pleased with, and that fills me with hope because in a 
bit of time, I'm going to have to cut my painted army off their bases and do the same, and that's making me feel a bit ill. Um, but yeah, so I was quite pleased with that. So they're all ready to go, they're primed and on the right bases, and I've now got what I'm hoping to do is just finish them in two days. Um, just like the uh, the kind of day all day video I did, I'm going to caveat what two days are for me because of things like school runs and all that. But I'm going to have I'm going to have six hours on the first day. I'm going to have uh, no sorry five hours on the first day. I've basically got like half nine till half three, something like that. And then we've you know hour for lunch and breaks and all that sort of stuff. And then on the second day, I've got eight hours, um, half nine to half five. Um, with an hour for lunch becomes seven hours. So I've got 12 hours basically. I've got 12 hours to put into these guys. Um, and I'm kind of hopeful. And, and basically, <clears throat> I need to smash them out. I need to get them done by the end of this week. I need to get them finished so that from next week onwards, when we've only got three weeks left, I can just concentrate on all the complicated stuff. That That's the plan. Now, the good news about this, while they are very complicated, um, they're beautiful models of Grim Hammers, really, really gorgeous. I um I remember clearly that I paint I've got my old, I've got one of my old ones out. I, I used the Tale of um Tale of Painters um by Garthy Eggington or Etherington, I think it is. Um I remember following that guide. So I've dug it out and it's still online. So I've got that guide. And what I'm pleased about is whilst there is tons and tons of edge highlighting, I paint every scale on here individually at the highlight stage. Um it's it's less highlighting than my current standard, if that makes sense. So I think they look really good at the end. But um, it's basically base coat, shade, highlight, and they're done for the armour. So that, that's quite good and quite encouraging. And also, they're really simple models. So I've got plate mail, scale mail, cloth, and beard. And that's about it. What they don't have is they don't have any straps. They don't have any straps holding the armour on. Um, they don't have any kind of um, like belts or anything like that. It's all armour. So that really, really speeds up the process. And coming from the Dale guys recently, they don't have any cloak trim, and they don't have any fur, and they don't have any tassels. So that's all for the good. So what's really weird in the last eight years is I remember these at the time possibly being the warriors that I put the most time into. I remember really thinking, God, they look good. I've done a good job on that. And I'm still happy with them. I'm going to try and match that scheme. But I'm not terrified about how long this will take. Um... And, and I think, speculatively, I think I can do these in 12 hours. I think I could do, there's 12 of them, so it's about an hour per model. I reckon I can do that. So, so that's my plan, that's the hope, and, and that's the goal for, for this vlog. Um, we've got to get 12 Grim Hammers painted up over a couple of days, um, hopefully, hopefully finishing before the weekend to allow me to get stuck into um, the, the rest of what I need to do for, for next week. So um, there we go. I, th I think that's it. Um, the Dell guys are done looking over me. Um, the Grim Hammers now need to finish that. And if I get those done, that'll be the end of my army. But I need, now need to plunge on and have two days of really productive painting. And of course, this is the last big blitzing paint job I do this year. So there's only one way to complete it. When I did Dale Day, I listened to The Hobbit. When I did my Dale Nights, I listened to Fellowship of the Ring. When I listened to when I did my last batch of Dale, I listened to Andy Circus's Two Towers, and I've just finished that. That was almost perfect for that batch. And so for these guys, I'm going to listen to Return of the King, and um, I'm hoping I get it done uh, in a lot. I'm hoping I don't get to the end of Return of the King, if that makes sense, because it's Return of the King. Days which women such as our good Yoreth. Book five. Return of the King is 22 hours long. Um, so I've got plenty to get through there. So I truly, truly hope I um, I don't finish it. I, I finish these about halfway through Return of the King. That will be that will be um, jackpot. And then what I'll do is I'll save the last ten hours of Return of the King for working on things like the display board next week. So there we go. The I feel like I'm getting to a nice kind of full circle thing here um, with with this stuff, and I'll get to um, I'll get to enjoy that final Andy Circus audiobook. So there we go. I will probably come back when they're based and shaded and let you know how far into the process we are. I'm hoping that will be five hours in. Four or five hours in to get them all based and shaded, I think would be a good result. So we'll have to wait and see. See you there. So it's update time. And uh, quite frankly, it's all gone to hell. So yeah, in our first um, utter disaster of the uh, Throne of Skulls process, things have not gone well. To give you some context, 
um, in my intro clip, which is I think has been the only clip of this vlog so far, I said that I had two days cleared and they would be sorted in those two days. It is now a week after the second of those two days and they're not finished. So a little note on those two days, basically a whole bunch of stuff came up, a bunch of unexpected family stuff, home stuff and a bunch of unexpected work stuff, which meant I just couldn't dedicate the uh, two full days to uh, the project like I wanted to. So yeah, here we are now as a um, eating into a week where I was meant to be working on the next stage of my Throne of Skull stuff and instead I'm still trying to paint these guys. So that's um, that's where we are a, a week later than expected and my my glorious kind of two hobby days listening to Return of the Kit had gone completely out the window. Um, I've also been trying to paint these where I could kind of in front of the telly um, with my wife so um, the idea of listening to Return of the King is completely gone. But before we talk about where we are on them, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the process. Because the first thing I did, which is quite unusual for me, is I um, I actually did as near as possible a test model to the base and shading stage. Um, I'm, I don't think I showed them off, but this was my finished Grimhammer from years past. So this is the thing that I said, I think I said in the first clip, as I said it was about a week and a half ago that I recorded it now, so I don't know, but this is what I was trying to emulate, which was a result that, to this day, I'm really quite pleased with, to be honest, um, following the Tailor Painter's Guide. Now, I knew how to do the armour, because um, that is still on the Tailor Painter's Guide, but the blues, I don't remember what colours I used, um, and the blue was kind of important to match. So what I decided to do was try a couple of um, kind of suspect blues, and and see which one would um, would match up the closest. So I've got these two, and these were the two that um, I kind of knocked up um, to try out my two different blues. And you can actually see that this one's got an S on the base, which stands for Stegard and Scale Green, which is actually a bluest colour I really like. And this one has got a K on the base, which stands for Cantor Blue. So you can see that the difference in these two is is the is the blues. Everything else is the same, except. There was a point on um, the Taylor Painter's Guide that stumped me, and it basically said um, when you're painting the scale mail, even the base coats, that you should pick out the scales rather than just you know painting the it's Iron Breaker. So this is um, the plate mail is uh, Lead Belcher with Agrax Earthshade, whereas the um, scale mail is Iron Breaker with um, Null Oil, but it says in the article that you should pick out the scales individually before washing them, so you leave the black undercoat through. Now, my gut feeling on this was, you know, ain't no one got time for this, but I truly can't remember what I did. And kind of looking back at these, this guy, I couldn't remember what I did, and I kind of feel like there's quite a lot of dark, dark black showing through that, and I kind of think I left them. I, I, I think I did pick them out individually, and I didn't just blast it with a wash. So what I decided to do was try one. So this one here with the candle blue was all painted iron breaker and then washed with null oil. And this one here with the Stegadon scale green was um, the scales were picked out individually, which obviously took longer, although not as much longer as you might think, and then washed with um, null oil. And, and the way I told them apart as well, I've got the K and the S. Can you see this one's got lots of little dots of iron breaker over the base? That was because they'd been dotted individually, essentially. And then once they dried, I looked at them, and I ultimately decided that the one with the individual scales did look better. You know, you do get more definition than this one, where you get the kind of just slightly darker silver. And so, um, whilst it might mean that I hate myself, I decided to go down this route. And so this was, it was a combination of the two, where I'd do the scale mail like this, but I would use, I decided that Cantor Blue was the, um, was the closest match. I kind of held these guys up to this guy and sort of said which one's closest and I decided that Cantor Blue was um, closer than Stegon on Scale Green. So yeah, that was the um, that was the base coats I decided to go with for my batch. So it was um, pick out the skills in Ironbreaker, paint the plate mail in Lead Belcher, um, the beards, half of them were painted with Scrag Brown for the ginger beards and half of them were painted with, um, I think I went down Steel Legion Drab for a kind of blondie beard. Um, and then the blue was Cantor Blue, and I think that was it. I think that's all I picked out. Oh, the, I, they got um, they got a brown belt. They got a brown belt of um, Rhinoxide. And then once I was done, I hit them with the washes. I think I did Drakenov Nightshade for the blue, Agrax Shade for the brown, and the plate mail, and then Null Oil for the, um, for the scale mail. 
um, and that was the base coating stage. And that managed to take me um, probably about three hours, something like that, all, to all told, which I was quite happy with, to be honest. Um, that, that seemed pretty productive. And then what I got to was the stage where, once that was dry, I then start highlighting, and this is the really, really long stage. And I'm not sure if I talked about this in the um, in the first vlog, in the first clip, sorry. But then the um, every single scale is picked out in room fang so it's steel, and the, all the plate mail and all the weapon, which is basically the rest of the model, everything else metal, is edge highlighted with room fang steel. And what I actually did, um, and again, apologies if I'm repeating myself, but I went back and looked at my work in progress um, thread from the One Ring. Um, where I painted these guys, and there was a horror story on there from me, where I said that um, that stage, the Runefang Steel stage, took 20 minutes per dwarf, and suddenly that put the fear of God into me, of my estimations. Remember, I gave myself 12 hours to paint these guys over two days at a time, and I was like, hang on, if they're taking 20 minutes each, that's four hours just on highlighting armour. And so I went into that some, with some kind of trepidation, and it did take ages, but that's pretty much where we are now. These, these are the only two that haven't had their edge heightened done because I wanted to show them off as the kind of all the stuff I just talked about in terms of the base coating. But these 10 guys here, there's nine guys, more on the 10th guy in a minute, um, have all had their edge highlight done. So that is that is where they are now. So all those base coats are done. And then you can see what's been done. All the scales are picked out in Runefang steel. And then all the armor is edge highlighted. And it did, uh, I hadn't magically got quicker as we go through these. It did take about 15 to 20 minutes per dwarf to do this. So this is, you know, somewhere between three or four hours of highlighting. But I'm happy to say, it. I still think it looks good. I, You know, that's the good news. Like, in all these years later, I still think this gives it a nice finished effect. And whilst it's clearly taken a lot a long time spent on one layer, it's probably still significantly quicker than the Dale Warriors. It's just, you know, it's just all room fang steel as opposed to lots and lots of different layers of red and lots and lots of different layers of cream. Um, really fun getting involved with these models again because they are such, such beautiful, beautiful models, the Grim Hammers. Um, and the, the kind of comforting thing about putting this much time into this stage is you know it's most of the model. That's the really thing I guess, like, yeah, yeah, this is taking 15, 20 minutes, but after that, there's not a lot left, which is really, really encouraging. So we've got this guy, and yeah, so getting these guys done, well, I say done, I've got two more to go, so about another half an hour of um, edge highlighting to go, but largely done, is feels really encouraging, I felt like a really sensible time to um, to step in. As I said, three hours to base coat and wash, and then about three or four hours of this. So we're about six or seven hours into the process at this point, um, which means even though there's two, that idea of the two days is long gone, my original estimate of, of having 12 hours to paint them, um, we're about seven hours in or something. So about five hours left on that on that scheme, as it were. Such good models, such good models. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'm happy with how all the armors come out. So that's where we were. And then I was thinking, okay, so I've just got um, you know a few bits to do. Basically, if I pick up, um, where, where's, where's a good one where you could see most of it? It's probably this guy. Um, what I've got to do is kind of probably two two highlights on the blue, maybe two highlights on the beard. I've got to paint the handles of these black, and um, and then the belt, maybe one or two highlights on the belt. So that's the um, I think that's everything. Oh, and the gloves as well. Sorry, the gloves have to be painted. Um, have kind of grey dark grey gloves, gloves painted in, but all of those bits are quite small essentially. So then what I decided to do was just to try and um, see if I could you know, get some sense of how long the process, much of the process um, I've got to do. I finished one, so this is the 10th guy, and I just sat down and finished him. Um, and so this is the finished effect. And the way I did this, I reset, so for his beard, got reset with scrag brown and then highlighted with rat skin flesh. The blue was reset with Cantor blue. That's Cantor blue, yeah. And then highlighted with Hoeth blue. Um, the shafts of the weapons were painted about in black. The gloves were painted, you can see the grey fingers in there, were painted Corvus, uh, Corvus black. Is it Corvus black or Corvus gray? Yeah, Corvus black. And then um, Mechanica standard grey. 
and the belt was highlighted up um, Rhinox Hide and then Steel Legion Drab to get that fact. And that this guy is now done. And when I hold him up next to this guy, I'm pretty pleased. I put those back. I think the blue is a pretty good match. Certainly enough of a match that <coughs> uh, it will look fine at a distance. Um, the beards don't matter because the beards are meant to be, you know, different. The belts, I think, certainly as, as if anyone's going to care, but they seem pretty close to me. And the overall effect of the armor is pretty close as well. So overall, I was really happy with this guy. And what I decided to do, as I said, was when I was painting his highlight, I timed him. And it took me 25 minutes, which kind of really upset me, <laughs> if I'm honest. I, I'd estimated that this batch had about another three hours to do. But as it turns out, um, spending 25 minutes on 11 more minute, 11 more models is going to be somewhere in the region of four and a half hours, as opposed to three hours. Now, it might, of course, be that um, when I'm batch painting, it speeds up. Um, but yeah, that was a bit of a rude awakening. So that's where we are. Um, a week later than I thought we'd going to be, and still with about four and a half hours of painting to go. But whilst the delay's a disaster, the actual painting isn't that much of a disaster, if that makes sense. So um, I'm happy with how things are going. I'm really happy with how this guy looks um, as, as a finished article, and four and a half hours isn't too much. So I'm going to now just kind of plough on with these. I actually, I actually had the idea um, of, rather than trying to finish them, just doing one a night, doing what I did on this guy and just spending half an hour a night and just paint, finishing one of these a night. And do you know what stopped me doing that? You, dear people. Um, I wouldn't be able to show these finished on a vlog if I was doing that way. So um, I'm not going to do that. I am going to do it in the traditional way of kind of batch painting them. Um, but yeah, over my next few evenings of hobby, um, I'm going to ho hopefully maybe three evenings of an hour and a half or something like that should be enough to get these guys um, done. We can wrap this vlog up. Um, with some finished groom hammers and then move on to what you'll all be delighted to know will be a very very stressful couple of weeks in the next vlog um, so yeah i will hopefully now come back when these guys are fully finished and wrap up this vlog okay so it's update time and i'm delighted to say that the groom hammers are finished whoop, whoop. Um, in the last clip um you saw this guy so I'm not going to dwell over him and I went through all the colours of the highlights so I'm not going to go over them but I'll just kind of run through these um, the only difference in half of them uh, you'll see half of these guys let's just show you him have got the same beard so that's exactly the same colours that I talked about in the last clip which was scrag brown and ratskin flesh for the beard and then you'll see some pale um, paler beards which were um, steel legion brab and then Z steel legion drab and then zandri dust um, so that's the that's the only difference so you, you know all the colours for these so um, yeah here they are Here's the um, here's the the finished batch. Really pleased with them. I think in the last clip I was estimating that they were going to take somewhere in the region of um, four and a half hours. Um, I think it was a bit less than that, all told. In the end, um, maybe I hadn't factored in the fact that um, I'd already painted one of them, so that takes kind of half an hour. Off. I, I don't know, but um, I think it was it was probably under four hours work or so. They're so cool. That's a great model. Uh, under four hours work. Um, oh, oh God. But um, it was quite enjoyable, to be honest. It didn't, it didn't take long. Um, I actually did them in two batches, just for my own sanity. So I did the, the two different beard, beard colours um, separately. Um, I'm not sure if I'm showing this guy now, because I dropped him. I don't think so. Uh, so I kind of did six of them in one evening, and then five of them in the other evening. And it was only, yeah, it was only about two hours each. And I'm really, really happy with them. Um, like I said, it's it's a funny thing where... Once upon a time, sorry, I know I've said this in a clip before, I'm not sure quite how much detail I went into. Once upon a time, these were the models, this this effect was the most I'd ever put into Warriors. And I still think it stands up, but now, compared to the Dale guys, it feels like almost cheating. It feels like a delightfully like quick paint job, to be honest. Um, but still an effect that I'm really happy with. And I, I have, um, I showed before that I'm, I'm really happy with the match between um, these ones and, and my older ones. So um, cheers again to Garthy Everington on the um, Tale of Painters for leaving that guide up and allowing me to um, to kind of find find that. And I'm pretty happy with the blues. I'm sure in some way the blues are different to how I did them ten years ago, but um, they, they're close enough. And certainly when you when you zoom out on the table, I don't think I was going to notice. I really like that kind of nice bright striking blue. Don't get to paint a lot of blue either, so it's nice to 
Nice for a bit of a change. Blue is my favourite colour, fact man. There we go. And this dude. Beautiful, beautiful models. I absolutely love them. Can't wait to get them on the table. Um, and I saved this guy to last because we did have one disaster, which our, our patrons will know about, which was this bloke, which is um, not not long before he was finished. I dropped this guy from a great height, and he shattered into wait for it six pieces, six pieces. Can you believe that? There was a body. There was um, this arm came off here. This hand came off. So just above the wrist there, from that, that bit that you can now see, that came off. Then the pick hammer came off, so that's us up to four. And then the spike came off and the hammer end of the pick hammer came off. It was a disaster. And these are, you can see, these are not very large pieces. And I never ever found the spike and the hammer head. But how is he here? I hear you ask. Well, um, I dug into my Bix box and I found an old Grim Hammer. He would, um, I think he, I can't remember why he was in there, he was lying around and he still had a fully complete pick hammer. So this pick hammer is, head is completely swapped. Um, it's just been chopped off above the hand and, and replaced. Um, I can't stress how much I did not need that to happen <laughs> in the build up, but um, it was a very, very stressful evening. I spent half an hour just desperately searching the floor for bits of Grim Hammer. Um, it was it was horrific, but yeah, um, I'm pretty pleased in the end. If you look at that, it looks like it's kind of lined up quite nicely, I think. And uh, certainly now, he, he obviously had a few extra touch-ups just to kind of neaten him up. Um, but I think now you couldn't tell any any difference. So um, yeah, poor, poor Jeff, but um, he's all right. So there we go. There is um, my 12 Grim Hammers painted up um, in a slower than slower than I expected, but still in um, not much more than a week and a half, and I'm really happy though. So I'm now gonna go to the chair and sign off the vlog. All right, and there we go. The Grim Hammers are finished. Um, and, with, and with it, the army, which is quite exciting. So yeah, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very happy. Good news, good news, good news. Uh, we got the Grim Hammers fin finished. Uh, they were meant to be painted in two days. As it was, they took about a week and a half. So um, overall, very pleased, pleased with the result. I'm pleased to have got the models done. Um, bear in mind, three weeks ago, I start, I needed to paint 12 Grim Hammers and 7 Dale guys, and I was really freaked out about that, and I've done that. So I've got all that done, which was which is brilliant, and I'm very happy. I'm pleased with the effect. Um, it's very B-Syme as well, even though it is being painted for a project. These 12 Grim Hammers have been stuck in my backlog for years and years and years. And this is one of those classic things that they're just sitting there, oh, when are these ever going to pay? They just need they just need a week and a half, a week and a half of your time, there, and they're done and sorted. So there's a really nice bonus there for my um, for my army of thought in the future, as well as the kind of Throne of Skulls plans. So that's really encouraging. Um, in terms of the, the wider project, not too bad. It's not too bad. So um, as, as you know by now, it's meant to be two days. And then my plan was that by the time I finished these guys, the Grim Hammers, I would have three weeks to do everything else. If you go back to the start of the Dale vlog, I said that I had two hurdles to get over. I had to paint seven Dale guys and I had to paint in a, in a week and I had to paint 12 Grim Hammers in a week. And if I got through both of those things, then um, we had a chance of getting through Throne of Skulls. And as it turns out, those two weeks took three weeks. So I'd specced out that for everything else I need to do, and you know what Throne of Skulls is like, you know what it is, objective markers, costume, display board, all, the, all that jazz, I'd need about three weeks. As it is, I've got two weeks. At the time of recording, it's about two weeks to Throne of Skulls. So um, it's not a disaster, but it's not great, okay? Um, I'm really happy I've finished the army, but... There's a long way to go. And so um, we can proceed though. I think I said in the Dale video that if I didn't get these done, we just have to kind of abort the plans and do something else. We are gonna plow on. And so I'm delighted to say that the next vlog you see will be the one you wait for, the, the stuff you love. The next one is gonna be um, stressed out Damien, freaking out, getting covered in polystyrene, sitting in a shed in the cold, in winter, in the dark, freezing, potentially bleeding unexpectedly, um, and sobbing his eyes out, basically. That's all coming in the next vlog. Um, as for that vlog, I think, if this one goes out on time, I think you've had a vlog every Friday for the last four weeks, which has been pretty cool. There won't be one next week, because if this comes out on whatever it'll be, Friday the something, uh, is it going to be, I think Friday the 25th? Um, 
if, the, if you're watching this on Friday the 25th or shortly after when it's gone up, the next Friday is the Friday I go to Throne of Skulls. So by the, when you're watching this, I'll have a week left. And there's just, even if I'm vlogging it and doing all right, there's just no way I'm going to have the time to edit that vlog and get it up on that Friday. So, and it's also likely to need to shoot some stuff when I come back for Throne of Skulls and I kind of, everything got finished, it's a review type thing. So I reckon you're now going to have about a two week wait until the next vlog. And the next one will be the, the kind of, um, all the juicy, stressed out, let's get everything ready for Throne of Skulls um, vlog, which I'm quite, I'm genuinely quite looking forward to. It's going to be a tough two weeks, but I am looking forward to it. I'm very, very excited about this project now. So uh, there we go. I've seen some comments in on the previous vlogs. I asked you to speculate on um, on what I was doing, and you know most people on the Dale vlogs seem to seem to be going down the route of a kind of Dale um, army of Dale army of Thor alliance, and something tells me that me painting up twelve Grim Hammers isn't going to have kind of dissuaded people from that. So um, you'll get the full you'll get the full breakdown of my of my army in the next vlog for sure. But yeah, in the meantime, continue to speculate about who's going to be in the army, what I'm going to be bringing, what the theme is, what the display board is, what the costume is, and um, and hopefully, um, you know, the ne actually the next time you'll, you'll see me will be at Throne of Skulls, right? There, there won't be a vlog before, um, there won't be a vlog before Throne of Skulls, so um, before you see the behind the scenes stuff, I'm sure there'll be pictures of it um, on the internet and stuff, um, and, and some of you will be seen in person there, so um, do come over and, and say hi and um, kind of check out the project, I can't wait to share it with you, as long as it all gets finished in time, and speaking of which, I better cut this vlog off here and go and get stuck into some good shed based content, so until next time, um, keep following the live streams and keep following the hobby vlogs. Thank you so much for your support. Click subscribe. Please, 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 please leave a comment. I do read them all and I try and respond to them. They really do um, encourage me to keep going with these vlogs. And we'll see you soon on Battle Streams in Middle Earth. <laughs>